Welcome back, subscribers, family, and friends. Welcome to a special Halloween uh, review. And as you can see behind me, I do have the Michael Myers uh, sensor activated. 18-inch uh, movie maniacs up there. Been in my collection for quite a while. And I don't have a Halloween uh, TV, uh, TV or not TV, but Halloween t-shirt. So I'm just wearing my Freddy vs. Jason Funko Pop shirt. Um, anyway, hopefully everybody's having a nice happy Halloween, even though we've had a crazy year and there's probably a lot of places not allowed going trick-or-treating. Um, but, you know, hopefully things will get back to normal in the next year and get back to doing trick-or-treating for, um, like normal. Um, but anyway, uh... As I've done a video before, I did do a video on uh, Halloween. I did a movie review, I think it was two or three years ago. Um, but I'm going to try to do the first two Halloweens, um, the original first two Halloween films, um, in one video. I'm going to try to cut it, try to get it down to at least less than 25 minutes. So, um, the, the first is, this is the, as I showed in the last video, this is the Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition Digibook by Anchor Bay. Um, there's a lot of other uh, versions of Halloween out. There's You can get the TV version on VHS and I believe on DVD. You can get a 25th Anniversary, which I have that on DVD. You can, I think they may have came out with a 30th Anniversary um, DVD as well. Uh, and but this is a really great uh, set you know I've already shown this in the last video but it's a really um, amazing little uh, disc here that comes the blu-ray uh, um, pretty a couple of new some new special features on here um, but yeah so that's basically um, the Halloween uh, the original time I saw Halloween um, as we all know Halloween came out 42 years ago and, um, and it definitely inspired a lot of, uh, slasher, uh, holiday type horror films. You had the, the Friday 13th that came out in, uh, a couple years later, and you got the Nightmare on Elm Streets that came out in 84, and you got all the other holiday, uh, inspired horror films, My Bloody Valentine, Happy Birthday to Me, Graduation Day, Final Exam, all those other, uh, some, some classic horror films. And, uh, but Halloween has definitely been an inspiration for a lot of the slasher films, mainly throughout the 80s, and it's been very inspirational for, um, horror films for the 90s, especially Scream. Scream, it definitely inspired Scream a lot. Um, it, uh, put, um, slasher, uh, holiday horror films on the map with Halloween, even though it was originally called The Babysitter Murders. Um, I definitely, uh, John Carpenter's Halloween is, to me, the quintessential horror film of the 70s and probably of the last 45 years. Um, there's not too many people that have not seen Halloween. If you haven't seen Halloween, I feel sorry for you because you definitely need to check it out. Um, it's definitely a 10 plus on my Richter scale and it's definitely in my top five as favorite horror movies. Um, now, the first time I saw Halloween, um, I did not get, like I said, I've said in many videos before, uh, I was not fortunate enough to see a lot of horror films as a young kid. I did get to see horror films, um, uh, PG-13 rated horror films in the, like, late to mid-80s. And then I didn't get to see full-fledged R-rated films until 1989. Uh, so the first time I saw Halloween was in 1989. It was right before, it was right before October of 89. And at that point in time, that Halloween of 89, I was able to watch the first uh, four Halloweens because part five had just hadn't been released to VHS at that time. So um, 31 years ago, I was watching all four Halloweens on Halloween. So this year I'll be watching um, the first eight Halloweens and then the 2018 this uh, tomorrow. Well, today um, on Halloween. So um, anyway, we had you know all the you know about. The, about this movie that you have seen this um it's basically about a mental uh a boy who kills his sister um judith myers and he is taken to an insane asylum and dr loomis uh for 15 years would uh keep um 
watch over Michael. And he ends up escaping and going back to the town of Haddonfield, which is, as everybody knows, it was actually in California. <clears throat> but um, he goes back to Haddonfield and um, goes looking for more victims. And as you find out in Halloween 2, uh, we find out that he was, uh, Laurie Stroh happened to be his sister. Now, if you, as many people know, the 2018, they pretty much went after the end of this film, so they were not brother and sister. Um, but that's a whole nother, uh, video and a whole nother review. Halloween, um, you had the, the cast of Jamie Lee Curtis, the late Donald Pleasance, Charles Cyphers, um, PJ Souls. Uh, there's other um, actors and actresses in that movie. There's just the ones that have came to uh, mind. I know that Nancy Loomis also played in this too, and um, uh, John Carpenter. He did the music and he directed this. Uh, John Carpenter, uh, prior to this, um, he did Assault on Precinct 13, which has also been remade. Um, and he did a movie called Dark Star in 1974. Um, as many people have followed movies, John Carpenter went on to a great uh, career uh, directing films like um, he did Elvis the Movie. Um, he helped on Halloween 2 and Halloween 3. I did The Thing, um, They Live, Prince of Darkness, Starman. Um, Escape from L.A., Ghost of Mars. Uh, one of his last films he directed was uh, The Ward. Um, he does a lot of music nowadays. Um, out of the out of the the, the uh, eight original films, uh, Donald Pleasance happened to be the one consistent of the entire series. He went on to play in all but three, seven, and eight. And um, he, if, if he hadn't passed away, I. I pretty, I pretty can say this that he probably would have been in seven, uh, maybe even eight. Uh, Deborah Hill, the late Deborah Hill, she helped uh, write this with John Carpenter and produce this. She passed away as well. Um, she helped with uh, Halloween two and Halloween three, and she had, did help uh, produce the Fog, which is another movie that John Carpenter directed, and uh, also helped re uh, with the remake of the Fog. Um, but uh, the basically, you know, it's just um, Michael coming back to town, and he goes around killing these these people around uh, Halloween, and um, you get you get a little bit of uh, backstory if you watch some of the uh, TV footage. You actually get to see more of uh, Michael in the insane asylum, and um, um, you get to find out that his middle name was Audrey. Um, and, and in the, at the end of the credits, you actually, he doesn't get billed as Michael Myers. He gets billed as the shape, which, um, which was quite interesting because if you watch the first, the original Hellraiser movie, he's not billed as Pinhead. He's billed as the lead Cenobite, you know. So anyway, um, Hel Halloween is uh, the greatest, one of the greatest uh, horror films to come out in the last uh, almost 50 years. And... Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, you definitely need to check it out. I don't know too many people have not seen Halloween. So, but and and all in all, the I recommend this anybody who loves horror films, anybody that loves uh, watching Halloween rated related horror films. Um, it is the best of the entire nine films if you don't count the the RZ films. Uh, but uh, this and then you got Halloween Kills coming up next year, which sad that it didn't get released this year, but definitely going to look forward to seeing it and follow it next year and get to see it. Uh, and um, get to see more of the uh, adventures and exploits of uh, Michael Myers. Um, so that that is Halloween, and like I said, I give it a 10 plus on my Richter scale. Now, when we get to Halloween 2, it pretty much picks up where the second, the first movie left off. You uh, um, and he goes, and you find more details about uh, Michael having a sister. Um, another sister, and he's going and, and trying to uh, get to her, and and then Zelaz ends up in the hospital, which absolutely, because if you think about it, Halloween Kills is also in a hospital as well, not the entire movie, but this is not entirely in a hospital, but you get to see more of Dr. Loomis 
And you get to see some new characters added to the series. Um, this one uh, was directed by um, Rick Rosenthal, who also went on to direct Halloween Resurrection many years later. It was written by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, who, who both also produced it. Um, now, Halloween 2, um, it, like I said, I, I, the first time I got to see that as well was also in October of 1989 now this is the steel book which i did show this already i just didn't show the the spine here if i can turn it right anyway but halloween 2 um is not the worst of the series and it's not in my opinion the best of the series halloween 2 does have its great qualities about it it actually gets to see, you get to see um, pretty much that Halloween and Halloween 2 are like all connected into one night. So it's one long Halloween story, which is with the Halloween and 2018 Halloween Kills and then Halloween Ends. It's all one, uh, one whole night. Um, uh, now, the I didn't mention that in the original Halloween, there was actually three, and I believe there might have been a fourth person um, that portrayed Michael Myers. Uh, the main um, person was John Michael Graham, uh, was actually one of the main peoples that uh, played the shape. Um, and then you had some of the other ones, uh, like um, Deborah Hill with the hands in the beginning, and you had Tommy Lee Wallace when he breaks walls. So you pretty much had a couple of different people playing Michael. Now, in the second one, there was a, a stunt man played uh, named by the name of Dick Warlock. He played uh, Michael Myers in this one. Um, his portray of Michael Myers was a great one. Uh, but like I said, in the original Halloween, Nick Castle is the main guy that was billed as um, Michael Myers. Now, um, he was not in every scene in the Halloween, but he was pretty much pertained as the person who played the shape Michael Myers. Let me just get my uh, <clears throat> information straight. Nick Castle played Michael Myers in Halloween, also known as The Shape. John Michael Graham was Michael Myers at age, I believe, 23 is what it said. There. So, um, Dick Warlock plays Michael Myers in Halloween 2, and his performance of Michael Myers was pretty good. Now, um, what I one, one, th one, little <clears throat> one little side note I want to say... <clears throat> At this point in time, they had already, um, <clears throat> there was already a Friday the 13th Part 2, because these both Halloween 2 and Friday the 13th 2 were released in 1981. They were both, <clears throat> one, Halloween 2 was made in California, and, Hall and Friday the 13th 2 was made in Connecticut, two opposite sides of the United States. Now, they both uh, were the second of the films, they both came out in 1981, they both have a cop that gets killed with a hammer of some sort in that movie. In Halloween 2, a cop goes in the basement and gets a hammer to him and gets killed. In Friday the 13th 2, a cop goes to a shack and gets a hammer in the back of the head. Now, two opposite sides of the world, two different companies coming out the same time. Very, very highly um done on purpose it was practically a coincidence that they both happened to have that at the same time because there was no connection with sean s cunningham who um really didn't have to do with part two but there was no connection with steve Miner and uh rick rosenthal or john carpenter there was no connection so there was two opposites of the ends of the world and they just happened to have a cop they both get killed by the hammer Anyway, Halloween 2 is a uh, continuation, like I said, is basically Michael, he's going in the, he's trying to look for Laurie Strode because Laurie Strode ended up uh, surviving that night, and he goes and he kills the people in the hospital, and Dr. Loomis goes to, and basically, the I'm not going to really get into the ending because the ending is, but he gets burnt, and he gets set on fire, um, and they could have ended it right there, and they couldn't have done any more, but they ended up the very next year, they didn't even do a Michael Myers movie, they did Halloween 3, The Season of the Witch, which had nothing to do with the first two films, 
And then they waited until 1988 to where they made part four, The Return of Michael Myers. And at that point in time, there had already been, um, that would have been the fourth Nightmare on Elm Street and the seventh Friday the 13th. So pretty much Friday the 13th pretty much ruled the 80s. Um, and uh, it was just so happened the last couple of years of the 80s, uh, my Halloween finally got back into uh, film theaters uh halloween 2 um and my richter scale of halloween 2 i would give this a um i would get halloween 2 at 8.5 on the richter scale um like i said I, I, it's not my favorite there is a lot of things that i did like about it and there's some certain things in the movie that um i didn't uh particularly uh, care for um but um if you want to run though what the main things that I couldn't really stand is certain characters in the film were pretty much shown and then not shown. And there was a little bit of, um, uh, it's just certain things that just didn't add up in the film for me. Um, and, uh, but all in all, it's a great film. Um, especially if you're watching, um, the Halloweens as a whole on Halloween, um, and we're watching pretty much all the Halloweens. Um, and there is a lot of fans that do like the Rob Zombie Halloweens. Um, I just particularly do not care for them. So I'm not only going to watch, like I said before, I'm only going to watch the first eight. And then I'm going to watch Halloween 2018. So hopefully um, you've enjoyed this video. I know it's not my normal um, long videos, which I tend to do sometimes. Um, but when you get into what you're talking about, it can... Uh, your time can go by pretty fast, now, especially the Friday the 13th when you have 12 films um, and you're talking about each and individual one. So you're, that's t that's taking up a lot of time. Anyway, for me rambling on and rambling on, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you all have a great happy Halloween. And um, if, you, if there is a place out there that it does allow trick-or-treating, please be safe and uh, enjoy having time with your family. And uh, if there's not, enjoy having eating candy and watching Halloween movies and um, spending time with your family or, or your kids. And like I've always said at the end of my video, if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or you want to leave a comment down below, I have always feel free to do that. I always try to answer back as best I can. And, um, anyway, just have a great uh, time and I will catch you on the next review and, uh, we'll see you in November.